good to be with you. Sorry we're a few minutes late today. Um, we've been busy. It's uh, it's starting to rain. I just got back from the grocery store because Crandall was like, we have to do this. We have to do it tonight. So we're just waiting for him to get over here. But while we wait for him, let's get my um, this thing finished because I just haven't got to it yet. So if you see this, this is a container of the Starburst jelly beans. And when I say this is like what I think of when I think of like my childhood Easter, it's this candy. Um, my dad must have loved them or my mom, um, either one of them. So what I've done is I filled this jar up like, what would you say, two weeks ago? Yeah. Like two weeks ago. Well, I never reached the top. But I have like these fake flowers that I'm gonna put in it. I am in charge of our church's women's Easter party. So um, this is one of the things that we're gonna have. I'll show you. But let's finish filling this up. If I don't, hope, hopefully I have extra because Maverick was like, mom, he like tries to eat this every day. And when he just found out that I bought some more to finish it, he was like, oh, thank you, mom. You bought it for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're welcome, child. Um, so here we go. Welcome everybody to the live. Welcome, um, Corey and Jimmy and hi, Tina and Cindy and Meg's little house in the country, Kimberly. It's so good to be here with you guys tonight. So we're just going to top this off. I, I would show you guys what the fake flowers look like in it, but, um, they're outside in the shoe shed and it's raining. So I'm not going to go out there. But if you remember last week, we talked about the cute wreath and the bow. And it Hi, everybody. Cute. Didn't it turn out cute, Crandall? Yeah, it did turn out cute. There we go. It, it turned out cute. So, but we're just going <clears> to... <throat> I was wondering, you just ran out? I ran out. That was really out. a whole bag. Only did that much. Well, a whole bag minus what Maverick ate. Oh, well... So I know we've had a lot of issues with like spam on our channel lately. Fingers crossed I just fixed it or like cut down on it significantly. So bear with us, but I think we got it all sorted. Yeah. Hopefully. Don't forget to comment, like this video, um, follow along. It means a lot to us and helps us a ton. So. I hate the purple ones. They look black. They're purple. It like looks Halloween-ish. Cute. I like that this vase though was great because it really only allowed like one layer of bean where I'm not like double layering. Does that make sense? So, okay. Like Marcy said, it's storming today. And, uh, he's just gonna push my over. <laughs> it's storming today, and we have a little uh, uh, addiction that we. I have. What are you talking about? Or she has a box of these eclairs. I thought you were going to talk about I the goat. I just eat them a ton. What does that have to do with storming? Because we're making a treat. Because it's storming, so we're making a treat. Will you hand me a Ziploc bag? Okay, so I'm going to leave. Like, I didn't, you know, obviously go over the broom at all. Um, and I like. You know, the top layer. Whatever can be reached by a finger is eventually going to disappear. <laughs> You're right. I'll just take the whole top layer off. Just leave the purple ones. He'll, he'll snag a purple one. There's not even purple Starburst, so I don't get it. Okay, but I have to read them my thing. What is the purple? Red 40. Yeah. Cherry, orange, strawberry, lemon, green, apple, and grape. Oh, great. I, I guess that makes sense. The green apple? I hate the cherry. I'm not a cherry person. Okay, that's all that Maverick gets because we use the rest, so. And if really, if I was the mom that I try to be, I would take out the purple, the red, the orange, and the pink. 
So he'd only get the green and the yellow. Yeah. Oh well. Mm. We win some, we lose some in this family. But we're going to put the flowers in here for the activity. This is one of them. And then I got to read. Oh, it's on my phone. What is that? My it's little thing computer? I made. On the computer? Hold on. Let me, let me go look at the computer. So I'll give you guys a lowdown on what we're doing. It might look a little bit familiar. Um, <laughs> Tina says, do you have allergies, Crandall, or are you just tired? Allergies, you guys. I've been like this for a month. It's just, it's my normal self now. It's just allergies, sneezing, and... No, if I'm outside, it's weird. I used to get bad allergies outside. Now I don't get any. If I'm outside working and doing stuff, no allergies. I come inside instantly and I do. So, I don't know what's going on. But, we're going to be melting some more chocolate. Okay, look how cute this is. I don't know if you can see it. And it's backwards for you, so I'll read it. But, like, this is the oh, whole Oh, that's thing. what that's for. That is really cute then. You didn't I know didn't what put, it was for? I didn't put two and two together. Yeah, okay. So this is our Easter jelly bean prayer. You can Google this, but I kind of switched it around. So orange is for the edge of night. Purple is for the sins we made. Green is for the olive tree. Red is for the blood he gave. Pink is for the endless love. Yellow is for the sun so bright. Um, and then it says, a handful of jelly beans, colorful and sweet, is a promise, um, is a prayer, is a promise, is an Easter treat. Isn't that cute? So, there's our craft today on crafting with more, I should put a bow on it. Okay, actually, we'll see what it looks like with the flower. The flower is like pink peonies is my fake flower that I have for it. I guess I could put real ones in, but... Whatever, we'll, we'll do the fake ones that I already have. Hey. So, but I'm gonna print the card and then they can take the card and then they'll have to go buy their own Starburst. That is cute though. But you didn't, I didn't know you didn't know what that you was for. You never told me. Well, You're I just... thought you would read it and see that it said Easter jelly bean. Well, bird. I never read that. And then I told you to look at it. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> I showed it to you. Yeah. And you stared at it. I did not put two and two together. And then he asked me like two minutes later, why is this on the table? I was looking at the different colors. Oh, that makes sense. Everything is coming together in our life now. So. It's going full circle, y'all. So we're using milk chocolate. And uh, I'll show y'all what we've been dipping in this. And I'm probably going to get a lot of crap for it. But it when tastes I so much me, better. So I much better with chocolate. Him. And it all started off with... Like two and a half months ago, we had a live where we asked people about. And Marcy said she absolutely hates them, does not eat them. They're the grossest, worst thing ever. Yeah, I'm not wrong, right? I did. I did specify that I don't like eclairs. Yep. And what did we specify? That cream puffs are 20 times better than eclairs. But they're the same. They're not the same because we tried this. So we bought this big box of cream puffs we'll show them. and we liked it i then went back and i bought the big box of eclairs because crandall made us go dip the cream puffs in chocolate if you guys have all these go to all these these are two dollars for like 50 They're 50 like six dollars but whatever <laughs> um so then he dipped them all in chocolate well, so basically said... making them an eclair and then we, I bought him the eclairs and we both decided that they weren't as good because they're not as creamy because eclairs is a custard which has normally egg in it, which is disgusting. And therefore, we end up with cream puffs. Yeah, so in my mind, they're the exact same they're thing. They're not the exact, I just, just explained it to everybody. One just doesn't have chocolate and one does. And the one with chocolate is way better. So we decided to dip these in chocolate, which is what we're gonna be doing. But why because don't it you makes just it have so me, much better. Why don't you just have me buy the eclairs then? Because the cream, well, they're not as good. The cream they're puffs are full good. with whipped cream and they are. Because the other one's full of a custard. Yeah, they are a little bit better. But there we go. that being said, I don't really care. I would eat he either. He just would eat it no matter what. Oh, yeah, I would eat either one because they're delicious. So, uh, are, oh, 
Wow, oh, wow, we have missed all of the comments. Sorry, you guys. I don't know why. <laughs> there, it was stuck on the same comment. It was like, stuck on the two. same comment. Oh my gosh, sorry. We kept looking at Meg's comment the whole time. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Meg says, yes, it is adorable and it needs a bow. Um, yeah, you're probably right. But what color of bow? Yeah, that's hard. You ought to just do brown twine. I'm not a twine kind of person. You could be. Mm. Mm. Yeah, could be. I don't think it could be, though. Oh, also, actually, back to the Sinclair thing. The thing that Marcy said she didn't like was the breading. That the breading was too eggy. And both of these have the exact same bread. <laughs> what? I looked at the box. They're not the same bread. They are. One, this one is, and I quote, a puff pastry. The other one That's is That's how not. they shape it. We're going to Google this right now. How do I get out of this? Okay, here we go. We're gonna, it's Aldi, right? Yeah. By the way, if you don't have an Aldi's, I don't know how you are surviving. Uh, with, groceries. Yeah, I don't know how you afford groceries. So all my family in Utah, sorry. Marcy has literally saved us. How long have we been shopping on Aldi's? For you, like, like since January? Yeah. We've probably saved since January, like. We save like $200 a month or more. Two, four, six. We save about seventy dollars a grocery trip. Sixty, six hundred dollars this year so far, probably saved because shopping at all these. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's been such a blessing. This is when it's the mini cream puffs. Yeah. It's a, a Belgian chew pastry. A chew pastry, That's whatever probably, that is. Definitely not how you say that. Somebody else can correct us on that. It's French, I'm sure it's. Um, cho. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, somebody did send us their Clary's recipe, and um, we haven't tried it, so I'm still like a little. Arita, hi Billy, hi Rose. Okay, and this is a delicate ch chokes, C H O U X pastry. It's the exact same thing. They just put a different name on it. It comes from the same company. I almost guarantee you that it is the exact same. They just shape it different. They're trying to save money however they can. They're going to make it the what, exact same. What do we think? Do we think... Try um, it. Try it. Have you not tasted them? Oh, 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 oh. Elaine. Thank you. She said, sorry, Colonel, but Marcy is right. Yeah, maybe if you're making them homemade. I Meg think says, I miss having both eclairs and cream puffs. I can't have anything with sugar or gluten. Oh, we I'm sorry. I'll eat that. six for you tonight. <laughs> he really will eat six. But the thing is, is six is actually a serving size. So, like, I guess it makes it a little better. I will literally eat a whole box of these, all 50 of them, in a is day. Is it 50? Yeah. Ew, that is so gross, Grendel. I, they're just like a, a cold treat. It's amazing. How many is in the box? 50. Oh my gosh. Says right on it. Maverick kind of likes them. It's hit or miss. Yeah. And Harvey absolutely hates it. Yeah, I know. Why? That's pretty funny. Okay. So, I'm right. Um. By the way, hope everyone stays safe. That's on the southeast. We get the storms today, and then they go across Florida, and then all like all down through Texas and Louisiana and stuff. Oh, and that's why my brother Florida. today was like, "Are you getting hit by those storms that are going to be really bad for us?" Yeah, it's I like, was like, "I don't know what you're talking about." The whole thing over the next couple of days. But you guys, the storm was supposed to be all day today, and it didn't start raining till an hour ago. So. Which is kind of nice because it gave us an extra day outside that I didn't think I was going to get. But it really didn't though because the wind was yeah. quite bad. It like we let windy. the kids out at what, 3 o'clock? Yeah, we were. And they like lost it because um, it got really windy and we had to bring them in within five minutes of letting them out. And our kids like to be outside. Love it. They don't like it. They love it. They'll just sit and like, scream at the back door. They're made, every time anybody goes in or out, they run as fast as they can to the door and try and sneak through and Oh, it's cry. so bad. So, like, if I have to run outside and if Crandall's inside today, we were using the smoker to cook dinner, and I had to go out and check on it, and Crandall's sitting in the house, so it's not like I was leaving the kids by themselves. But I 
go to, I put my shoes on and packs him instantly. He's at the door waiting for me to go out because he sees me put my shoes on. So I have to. Go ready. I have to run across our kitchen to the front door. So he'll run over to the front door. So then I can run back and walk out the door before he comes back. All right, so we got hot chocolate. Not actually hot chocolate, we got hot chocolate. Wow, English is the worst language ever. Why don't we have different words for different things? We've got some words that mean six things and six things that mean one word. It's quite ridiculous, I'd have to say. So what we're gonna do, we got our, oh, you can't even see y'all. Hold on. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, here we go. We got our chocolate, which might not quite be defrosted enough. Melted. I feel like I'm Willy Wonka. I feel like I'm Willy Wonka. Meg says I'm still dri still digging out from last week's snow. Oh my gosh. Hi Dorothy. Hi Lynn. Hi Cindy. Verona. All right, we're just gonna pull these out, and we're gonna dip them, and then put them on there, stick them back in the freezer. There, these are froze solid, so they'll actually work pretty good. And uh, we'll sit here and read comments and dip chocolate. My, um, so if you guys didn't know, Colonel and I both served like mission trips for our church. And when I first left on mine, which was like eight years ago, I went to North Carolina. Um, my, like you're assigned like a person to be with. Um, and the person I was assigned to be with, her family actually owns a chocolate, like, factory. And so, it was so good because she, like, brought, like, some of the best chocolate I've ever had. So, if you've ever heard of Mrs. Cavanaugh's chocolate, it's super, super good. But anytime I, like, dip chocolate. Marcy's got the. It makes me feel like I'm doing it so wrong because, like, I, we totally probably tempered chocolate wrong and everything like that. Oh, I, it, it just. <gasps> Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he just split my number. <laughs> oh. We're so good at this. And Cindy says, I don't buy them because of lack of control. Yeah, I, yeah, that's me. I have a very, very big lack of control. Oh, I landed it upside down. Kind of hard to do, but. This one was hard. It like. So now we have eclairs because they're covered in chocolate. That's not what makes an eclair. <laughs> well, why don't they ever put chocolate on cream puffs? I don't get it. Chocolate covered cream puffs, Crandall, you can open the restaurant. Okay. We will be adding chocolate covered cream puffs to our website. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> so that I can buy them. That's kind of. So that I can buy them. That's kind of counter. At least I can get paid for dipping. Will you lick that? No. Why does that seem so gross to like lick a giant thing of chocolate? But like you'd you sit down and a eat a chocolate, chocolate bar or whatever. Well, I was just gonna say no because I brushed my teeth like 20 minutes ago. Why would you brush your teeth before this? That sounds like a terrible idea. No. Is that thundering? Or yeah. Is that no, the thunder and lightning's crazy. Really? We haven't had thunder and lightning for a while. Um, to answer your question, for self-control. Oh, so you couldn't eat them? Yeah. <gasps> Dang it. Oh, I have made a mess. I haven't. It tastes pretty good, though. Here, let me... <gasps> <laughs> wow, Marsh, you got a little cocky there, and... We might have just enough. Last time when we only had like six left over, you're like, that's okay. We'll just feed those ones to Maverick. <laughs> yeah, Maverick, thankfully Maverick doesn't really like them. Maverick doesn't really like anything that's not, that's really good, he doesn't like. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of nice. Like for a long time, he wouldn't eat a cookie or anything like that. He'll eat cookies now, but. We make him. Force him to eat cookies. He's more of a candy boy. Yeah. Candy, popsicles. He just asked me. So he's still up because 
today was the first time in like three months that he's taken a nap. Um, so we're letting him stay up just a little bit, which maybe we'll have him come over and say hi when we're almost done today. Um, but I walk in to where he is at and he goes, hey mom, can I have some Sour Patch Kids? And like, that's what he said. Like normally he just said, can I have some candy? But he looks at me, can I have some Sour Patch Kids? Seriously? And I was like, uh, no, but you can have some Jelly Beans. <laughs> didn't want to open the package. Will you scrub The package out? of Sour Patch Kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I opened them yesterday. They're gonna get soggy. You mean to tell me you opened those and then you didn't pop popcorn last night? <laughs> <laughs> you turd. Did your parents call you turds? Man, Maverick has been memory, like saying the most random things, singing the most random songs, like Stuff that we haven't sung or said in ages. And today, he, goes, he just decided. He oh. goes, today, he's like, chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? <laughs> yeah, that like, book. I think my mom has that book. Your mom has that book. My mom has that book. Um, But it's been at least three or four weeks since he read it last. <laughs> like, So for him just to be like, chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Yeah, I don't get it. And then what did he, he'll, it's so cute. Right now he's saying, um. You got one without. Were you just holding on to that? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot it was in my hand. <laughs> um, what did he come up and he's been saying to us that's super cute. Oh, he'll say something and then he'll look at us and go, silly. Yeah, he always <laughs> says silly because we say silly. Like, what you doing, silly? And so today he's like, good morning, silly. <laughs> Can you give me a cup of water? And then I'll hand it to him and he'll be like, silly. Thank you, mama. <laughs> and then that's it. Like, just so funny. Okay, look, these are dehardened. I know, those are the ones. So, I also like my cream puffs not like froze solid. So I will pull out my, my six. And then um, because I'm eating six for Meg, I'll pull out her six and I'll eat my 12. How many do you want? Brush my teeth. Oh, she brushed her teeth, so I gotta eat Marcy's six too. That's 18 more, so there ain't gonna be much left. <sighs> okay, I will constrain myself to three, four. That's a lot of cream puffs left. I'm not even Come having on. a serving. Six cream puffs is a serving. But, 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 how many cream puffs have you had today? Two? Mm, no. Is this water? Yeah. Or is it chemical water? No, it is water. I just filled it up. It has my cute ice in it. Oh, we haven't been to sauna. Marcy's picked up a new hobby. <laughs> I That's what I feel like. Every time I come in the house, she's got... Where is it? <laughs> Every time I come into the house, she's like a mad scientist over here. <laughs> deep, 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 deep. Dropping water droplets into ice trays. I don't think she knows. Because she's too old to know what a not an ice maker is. I'm sure a lot of you guys could tell her how to use an ice tray where you just um, fill it up, fill it up with the sink, and then put it in the freezer. But no, Marcy uses a turkey baster. <laughs> That's only ever been used once. Would you like to know why I'm doing what I'm doing? Because I would like to know why you're doing what you're doing. Because I know how to do ice. That's the kind of ice my grandparents had. Shall I wipe this out or something? For what? For we puffs. we are not a save the Tupperware kind of family. No, for the cream puffs. In in Fiji, this is how their ice cream comes. It comes in containers just like this. That's how. Do you not remember when ice cream came in containers just like this? No. Yeah, half gallons. Like if you buy a half gallon of ice cream, it comes in a tub. Well, certain types, mostly the the oval ones. No, that would be a pint. Mm. Cindy <laughs> says, Marcy, you're silly. <laughs> I Let me show you. Has anybody on here ever made chocolate? I just saw a comment from Cheryl. She says, this is such a good idea. I'll have to wait for the recording to see how you made the chocolate. Unfortunately, we didn't make the chocolate, but I would love to make chocolate. I just don't know how. It was just melted uh, Toll House chocolate. 
Wait, will you move your cream puffs? To we ought to put them in the freezer. Can I go put those in the freezer? Yeah. Why? So that they'll harden and we can put them back in there. I mean, they're almost there, but. Okay. I got these cute, um, things. Silicone ice molds. These ones are specifically rainbows and suns. Um, and these ones are shamrocks. If you didn't know, we don't like the flavor of our water, yada, yada, yada. We buy our ice from Sonic. Well, sometimes we run out of ice, especially when the kids are teething. We run out way quicker and I won't touch water if it doesn't have ice in it. So I had to throw some ice in for like an emergency. If we don't have ice, then I use my homemade ice molds. Okay, I know I can run it under. Well, actually I can't run it under because that defeats the purpose of not using our ice maker that's in our fridge. Yeah, I realized that. <laughs> so I would have to like bottle pour it. So I'm already putting it in a container of some sort. Well, I like the design. So if I filled the whole thing, it would have a layer of ice on top and then I wouldn't have- No, 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 you pour it and it overflows. Uh, yeah. I, like I said, she's never used ice treated before. What do you mean it overflows? Here, will you grab me the bag? Let me pop these all out. I'll show you how to do it the okay, right way. Okay, you can show me how to do it the right way. All right, you're almost up to a gallon of ice, Mars. You're welcome. They do freeze pretty quick. What do you mean? Like, they don't take overnight to freeze. It's oh, like no, they freeze in like... A couple hours. hours. Two, three hours. Anybody know that movie? Salesman ought to be here two, three hours. I know my family would get it. Does anybody else here know what that movie is? I would say it's a classic, but I don't know if it is a classic. What is it? You know what it is. Corn, corn, corn. All we got is corn. Is that the lion arm? Wait, that was, wait, you no. just sold it. I mean, you gave it away. I didn't know if that was it. Was anybody going to guess Secondhand Lions? Or am I the only one that watched that show? I haven't show? seen that in forever. That was one of the movies. I just tried to make Maverick watch holes, but then it wouldn't load. Oh, really? Yeah, because he likes to dig. Uh, why don't you put a filter on your ice maker? We do have a filter on our ice maker, but our water that comes out of our ground is so high in iron content, I like can't figure it out. I need like a 16 layer system to get it to work. So we're temporarily not using our water for anything except for showering and dishes and whatever. I mean, it's not like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill you. I drink it for a long time, but it just doesn't taste the best. It's not very good for your hair either. Yeah. It's a high metal. High iron. Yeah. Yeah. Well, metal's not good for your hair or your skin. As she uses a curling iron every day. <laughs> I did not use a curling iron. A curling iron or? Come here, kiddo. You wanna say hi to everybody? Come here. Is your movie over? It is? No? Come say hi to everybody. They want to see ya. Hi. Oh, I can't see ya. Hold on. Let mama hold you. What's the mouth here saying? What's in your mouth? Oh, you got jelly beans? Nice. Say hey, everybody. Hi. Ask them what they're doing. What are they doing? Tell them about your day. Where'd you go? Yeah, what did you do today? I worked with Daddy. Yeah, Maverick went to work with me the last two days. He's been doing pretty good because I was gone for like four or five hours with him and he just was running around playing in the dirt. And What else did you do when you were at work with Daddy? Did you kill the battery in the truck? <laughs> yeah, he ran the battery dead in my truck today. <laughs> and did you beep the horn? No. Yeah, no. you did. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yes, silly. But Daddy said, don't beep the horn. And he did beep the horn, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I love you. What's up? And you helped me take down the greenhouse. You didn't even tell Mommy you carried those long poles. <gasps> you helped Daddy? Are you so strong? Yeah. Let me see your muscles. Oh, look at that. Look at those bunny, 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 bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and tell everybody how old you are. 
Ten? No. <laughs> no, you're not. How old are you? He knows it. How old are you? Six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not six. How old are you? Three. Three. Good job. Can you tell everybody your chicka chicka boom boom? I can't remember it. Chicka. Chicka boom boom. Okay, what do you need? Just to say hi. Do you want some water? Where did that jelly bean come from? What? <laughs> that we kid didn't... is so eating those so slow. Are you sucking on it? I told him to take a long time. Oh. Pretty good, huh? Would you like some, you want some water? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. um, Cindy says she saw you racing your dirt bike. What? Yeah. Do you like your dirt bike? Mm -hmm. You want to tell them about your crash? Oh yeah, tell them about your crash. Come here. Huh. You gotta talk really loud though. You tell them what tell happened. Me what happened? I crashed. How did you crash? I got a bump. You went over a bump? And what got hurt? Where where got hurt? Okay. Where? On my bum. On what? My bum. Oh, on your bum. bum. <laughs> what right about there. on your arm one? Right there. Yeah, you got a little boo boo right there too, remember? But you're so strong and so tough, huh? You just kept riding. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're ready for bed. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. Yeah, mama can come put you to bed. I'm not ready. Your mom ready? <laughs> Is your show over? Tell them what you're watching. They want to know. Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen. What does Lightning McQueen say? Ka-chow. Say it. Ka-chow. 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 Okay, mama's going to get you some water. Uh, Flutterby soon says your kitchen came out so beautiful. Thank you so much. We have really been enjoying it. Last year, oh my gosh, we were looking, going through some of our old footage and videos and stuff of last year, and oh my gosh, the difference, like our house is like, it's just not even comparable. It's 10,000 times nicer than it was, and like, because this time last year, we didn't have like anything done. We didn't have the walls painted, or maybe we just had gotten the walls painted. The kitchen wasn't done, the flooring wasn't done, the baseboards wasn't done, the ceiling wasn't done. Like, we made a lot of progress last year, and it's it's been very nice to just kind of be enjoying it. You know, we haven't done much house projects. We've been working on getting all this outside stuff done because it's been really, really nice weather. Uh, but it has been, it's just been nice to be able to have the house. I mean, it's completely functional. Like, the boys' bathroom is the only thing that still sucks, but I just don't go in there. What? The laundry room sucks too. The laundry room is so nice. It's beautiful. No, it's not. The okay. floor is beautiful. You see how nothing, long that nothing took Nothing else you? is and beautiful. And the butcher block. My butcher block is beautiful. Look, I'm so much quicker. Oh my gosh, did you see that? I just felt four at once. You just wasted a ton too. It's just water. It's falling out of the sky right now. There you go. See, and if there's a little bit too much, just give her a shake, shake. Boom, done. Looks exactly like yours. Took a third of the time and- And wasted so much water and now it's gonna get frozen to the pan. It's silicone, it won't stick. All right, I'm gonna try one of these, see if it's soft enough yet. What do you guys think? Whose idea is better? Krennel's or mine? Krennel, you want- It's probably good, it's still frozen, but- comments to come through. It's not like I do this all the time, and I don't mind it at all. People that are jumping on our live right now are like, you're really videoing yourself making ice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're just trying to get things done. <laughs> How pathetic. How the money have fallen. <laughs> <laughs> They're just watching you eat, which just seems to be the only thing you ever do during lives. <laughs> I know. It's either we talk about food or we deal with food. But it's pretty tasty. Anne says you should use green food coloring in the water. She stole my St. Patrick's Day idea. Oh, guys, you didn't know St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And a lot of you have commented, I don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day because it's just a holiday to promote drinking. <laughs> I don't 
even drinking. It's my favorite holiday. I was so offended. You must be missing out on the best part of the holiday. I'm sure lots of people would say that. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you can have a great holiday without drinking. Well, we do this thing with string and we string it all up all over our house. And then the end of the string, there's like, it goes to Maverick store and then he has to roll up all the string. Okay, the leprechaun came and pranked our house basically. Well, the end of the string is like a little something that... Like a little gift. Yeah. Okay. And when we say little, it's like $3. And that's like what my I grew up doing. It was awesome, the string thing. Maverick saw his gift today in the car. And it's always green. Your gift's always green. Oh, really? I didn't know that part of it. Yeah. So I got all the boys like a $2 shirt from Walmart. And then I got Maverick one of those foam airplanes that he loves. And his was, it's a green one. Well, he found it today in the car. Well, so I now told the him leprechaun was, can't no, come. No, I told him it was for Calvin. And then he, he's going to get it and be like, oh, Calvin and me have the same one now? Probably. That's probably what's going to happen. But, yeah. Oh, okay. my gosh. Okay. For all of my fungus-loving friends. How about, ew, that sounds so gross. How about you do the ice from now on? Okay. Okay, can you go put this away? No, because the clothes are in there. Give it like five more minutes. Um, so... For my fungus-loving friends, guess what I found today? I found morel, oh, morel mushrooms, morel mushrooms for the first time this year. Uh, I know a couple of other people in a couple of different counties around where we live in southern Oklahoma. I started finding them, um, but we, uh, I found some today. They were itty bitty. Well, some of them are about that big, and then the other ones were like literally half an inch big. But I am super excited. Not that I really like eating them, but I like picking them and giving them to my neighbors and stuff. So I will be picking those probably on Saturday. I'm going to see if they'll grow and track their growth. I posted it on our Oklahoma Morel Hunters page, and uh, it blew Wait, up. You're, <laughs> you're part of a, a, a mushroom, mushroom page? page? Yeah, I am. <laughs> So I posted it on there and uh, everybody's like, because I said, oh, I'm just going to leave it and let them grow. And everybody's like, well, they're going to get eaten by squirrels or whatever, which maybe they will. But I also want to <laughs> see how fast they grow, which it's raining right now. Which, wait, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. That means there would never be any morels if they were this big and they yeah, eaten by squirrels. Yeah, I know. I don't know. So, I don't know. Yeah. They could be, they could get eaten, they could not. Who knows? Um... The funny thing is, is my super secret hidden spot that I don't think anybody knows about now has a horse trail that goes right through the middle of it. Literally right through the middle of my morel patch that I found last year. There is now a state horse walking trail. I don't really know what it's for, except it's like all marked and there's horse tracks up and down the whole thing like crazy. So... Hopefully nobody else stumbles on my gold mine. You should just stick a bush over the trails and then he hits it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Just for like two weeks. Um, Diana Soros says, how's your greenhouse project coming along? That's some great deal there. Yeah, it's coming along good. Um, I, if you guys missed it, today's video is super good. It goes into depth of what we're doing and we actually did start getting it set up in today's video. Um, I haven't been able to work on it for a couple of days, so it's kind of at the same spot that it was in that video, if you guys have seen that. Um, if you haven't, as soon as we're done here, go check it out. Um, but depending on the weather tomorrow, I hope to get the rest of it up. It's pretty close. It's probably about halfway done. All the hoops are up. I just got to put the stringers and then put the plastic over it. So it's really not that far away from being done. Um, pretty what close. What are you going to say about it? About what? Setting it up. Who has been your right hand Marcy has helped me on this project, you guys. I have. You guys should be proud of her. She has come a long ways. And let me tell you, I don't really like pounding posts into the ground. She pounded in like three or four of the greenhouse trust, <clears throat> the greenhouse trust post. It's like pretty insane. six. Okay, maybe six. I don't know. But yeah, she did good. So she's been helping. Um, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> Cindy says, put a sign up. Crandall's mushroom, mushroom patch. Do not enter. Mm -hmm. LOL, I'm sure that will stop them. 
<laughs> That's funny. We'd have everybody stop it. Um, oh, lightning. Squirrel. Our power could go out. It's not going to go out. I Our power not. has never gone out during a storm. Not a single time. Carrie says, how old are your kids now? They're Maverick is three and the twins, the twins are, are in their terrible twos. No, they're not yet. <laughs> they're they're a year and a half almost. No, they're a year and three months. A year and three months. Yeah. Fifteen months. Yeah, Marcy is but coming Paxton, a long ways. Paxton is the size of a two year old. Yeah. He's a big boy. Yeah. Which is so fun. Like so fun. And then Harvey's just like our little nugget peanut. I don't know. He just like hangs to you like a lemur. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Like he'll sit there and like if Crandall puts him on his shoulders, he'll like bear hug. He will. His he'll, head. He grabs onto you like a tree. It's crazy. But we do have this problem. Both of them like to bite. But like I got bit so hard today. Oh, I have the biggest bruise on my shoulder. Yeah. From where Harvey bit me, and Paxton bit me yesterday while I was holding Harvey. But it didn't leave a bruise. But it hurt really bad. So. Yeah. Um, Cheryl says, are you planning to build a barn in the future? Um, ish. Barn. Ish. Honestly, this greenhouse is going to be kind of a barn if you think of putting animals in it, in a sense. Um, especially during the winter, which we only get maybe a month, but more like two weeks of really cold, cold weather, which is really hard on the chickens and stuff. So during those cold, cold times of the winter, we'll probably put all of our animals in the greenhouse because it'll be way warmer. It'll be blocked from the wind and all of that. Um, we've also thought about running our chickens in there. Like our animals will be in and out of there, helping us to maintain the garden beds and all that kind of stuff or to keep the animals warm. Um, so that'll be kind of fun and kind of interesting to do. Um, but yes, eventually we will build a shop uh, which we did get a lot of good comments about using one of these as a shop. My neighbor is actually going to try it, I think, and do it, and I'm going to help him with it. So depending on how that goes with him, he's going to spend all the money to do it, so we'll know the cost and everything of it. And if it goes good and we like it, then yeah, we might just use some of our materials that we got to do it. Um, otherwise, I don't, I'm not sold on the idea yet. So I also have the roof of a shop already out in the barn. I just need walls. So it's like back and forth of, well, if I pay, if I buy all of the metal to put metal on that instead of plastic, it's going to be the same price as it would be to actually just build a square wall one with the roof that I already have. So I don't know. There's a lot of going back and forth. I haven't made a decision yet, but I guess the answer to the question is yes, we will have a shop one day. Um, I saw another comment here. Crystal says, Marcy, don't curse it. Now the power's going to go out. <laughs> Cindy, are they going to the Oki Homestead Expo? Yes, we are. <laughs> that was the longest delay ever. Oh, I thought you were going to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to the Oki Homestead Expo, which we're excited because last year we, you guys know, you guys know the progression of our farm, of our property. Like we've slowly grown over time. Oh my gosh, the front door just opened by itself. That was kind of freaky. Um, and last year we didn't have a greenhouse. We didn't really have a garden. We had, a, you know, a couple animals and stuff, but we didn't have a pig. We didn't have a turkey. We didn't, we didn't have any of that stuff. And so this year now, especially that we have a greenhouse, we're like, we need to go there and actually like learn whatever we can from all the different booths and stuff like that. So we're excited to kind of explore that a little bit more. Well, I think too, like you guys know, I feel like last year our kids were just like in survival mode. And so it's nice to like come up and like breathe fresh air, I guess, and like get to start learning different things and doing things and progressing in our house and stuff. What, Mavi? Oh, it's over. Oh, okay. Okay, come say goodnight to everybody. Mommy's gonna put you to bed. <laughs> he says no. Did you have fun? Was it a good show? We gotta go brush your teeth too. Come here. You don't wanna brush your teeth. <laughs> so anyways, I'm excited for the Oakland Homestead Expo. We will be there. Um, so good come say hi. Party. And uh, we'll see you there. Say good night. Good night. I love you, buddy. Sleep good. We'll play in the rain tomorrow. <gasps> we can play in the rain in the <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I, like Marcy was saying last year, things were so, so difficult 
with both of us getting up two to three times a night and being up for an hour at a time, feeding babies, taking care of the babies. The boys have started sleeping through the night. They have for like a month, which is really, really nice. Um, and so that's made it a lot easier on us. And I, I was telling Marcy yesterday, I was like, it's kind of like our life has gone, when we bought this property, it was de-junking it, like just getting rid of crap, pulling out trees, pulling out old fencing, uh, fixing the driveways, you know, and all of these things that we haven't like finished, finished, but like it was wiping out and clearing the slate so that we could start over. And I feel like for the first time since we moved here three years ago, we're starting to add back to the land, add back to the property. So, you know, we've been, we've been doing some land clearing, We've been getting stuff ready for our driveway. We've got our garden. We've got the greenhouse now, which is huge, huge, huge. Uh, we actually just drew up plans last night for what our yard is going to look like, uh, which I'm super, super excited about because we want to have the boys, like we said, they absolutely love being outside. Like literally they would be outside all day if we would let them. And the problem is, is we don't have a fenced in yard. And so it's hard because all three boys are running three different directions. And especially if you're by yourself watching them, there's just no way to keep up. So we want to fence in our yard um, to help contain the kids and keep the animals out, but more to contain the kids. And so we went through last night and kind of drew, or not yes, a couple of days ago, and drew out where we want our fences to be, how we want our property to lay out, how we want our backyard and our front yard to function together, um, and all of that kind of stuff. So I am really excited that... Um, we're at that stage where we're starting to add back. So yeah, it's been a huge blessing. It's been a huge, huge journey, which thanks to all of you guys that have followed along and have been here. I know a lot of you guys have been here like pretty much since the beginning from Jamie and Lester. Uh, you know, we've done collabs with them, with Brandon Eddy, uh, with the Fowler Family Farm, Random Oki Farms, uh, Keeping It Dutch, all of these different channels. And uh, so thank you guys so much for your love and your support and for uh, sticking with us through it. Cause man, we go back and watch the videos and we're like, no wonder we got so many comments about how bad our house looks. Cause it looked terrible, <laughs> but it's just things like that. Like, you know, you take it one day at a time and eventually you end up with something that's a livable space, which I will tell you what, I don't think we'll ever live in a construction zone again. I mean, maybe if we have like, if we move and we're, we gotta redo one bedroom or something like that, 100% I would do it. But to live in a house that you fully gut and redo, there's no way, there is no way. So another fun fact that is actually kind of funny, um, <laughs> our greenhouse is almost the same square footage as our house. We just realized that, which is hilarious. I told Marcy yesterday when we were out there uh, working it or working on the greenhouse, I was like, well, you ready to move in? This is just our new addition to our house. Because it is. It's huge. It's so big. Um, Meg says, a fenced backyard will be so much safer for the boys. Yeah. Agreed. 100%. Crystal says, oh, Jamie and Lester just found um, found out on the side of LHL, Longhorn Lester's, they thought was haunted um, and a girl was found. Oh, dang. Is that a recent thing? If it is, I haven't. I haven't heard about that yet um cheryl says oh boy green huge greenhouse but that's great oh yeah i was gonna ask you guys too i know um cockhill farm does a lot of gardening and stuff like that but is there any good greenhouse channels that any of you guys watch that would be worth watching i mean we're new to the whole greenhouse situation and i'm wanting to do it right um, and so I've been watching YouTube videos and stuff like that, trying to figure out what to plant, how to plant, all of this different stuff. So if you guys have any recommendations, leave them down in the comments or uh, shoot us an email or whatever. But I'd love for, if you guys have any recommendations of people that you've seen that have done it and done a good job um, so that I can watch their videos and figure out what the heck is going on. Sorry, let me blow my nose real quick. Oh man, ready for allergy season to be over. Um, Crystal says it was a girl's grave that was found. Holy cow, that's insane. Wait, what were you saying? That there was a grave found on 
or right next to Longhorn Lester's. Oh, dang. Yeah. Okay, Lester's nephew's wife, the man Homestead. Oh, yeah. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> but you don't know who that is? The man no. Homestead? No, 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 I was saying, oh yeah, somebody says arms family homestead. said Daniel, yes. <laughs> what is it? What's out the window, Mabby? Can you watch it? It's so loud. It is. This is, okay, this is Maverick's first storm without a sound machine. True, true, true. So it's a new experience, he's like, what's that? I'm like, Pedals from the storm? past, thank you. Um, go, okay, Dem go uh, and Denman the Homestead. Is that how you say it? Den Denman? Denman Homestead. Okay, that's good to know. Lester's nephew. Okay, I'm going to look up their channel and kind of watch it. That's funny. Did he get out of his bed? Or was he not in bed yet? What do you mean? <laughs> to no, tell us? <laughs> no. Yeah, and he made me take... His sign was shaking against... It's like really loud. And so his sign was shaking against the wall. He had me take it down because he didn't like the sound. And oh, so. I hear, I hear see the light outside. The it's lightning? Like, yeah. There's thunder outside. Yeah, thunder yeah, and lightning. You hear the thunder. You see the lightning. Yeah. Yeah. That was coming. Yeah, that's crazy. What? what is it coming today? Yeah, it's raining right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You saw it? He loves it. He's way better than being scared of it. Oh, yeah. Girl Jack, uh, Gardening with Leon. Yep. Okay, you know about them. <laughs> That's so cute. He loves it. Loves the lightning. So, yeah, we're excited to embark on this journey of uh, having the greenhouse and learning everything that I can about it. I saw it. That was crazy, bud. <laughs> I can see it right here. Whoa. <laughs> that lit up the whole thing. Okay, gardening with answers. All right, I'm gonna have to go back through here and read through all of these. Thank you guys so much. I figured you guys probably knew better than I did. Um, but yeah, it's funny. Daniel's old videos three years ago, heck, it was probably four years ago when we first found Daniel on YouTube. Uh, we were living in Texas. Yeah, we had just moved to Texas, and I was like, Mars, like, I really want to do this YouTube thing. I really want to start a channel. And we just, that was even before we heard about Daniel. And, uh, wow, you need to step into the camera, Mars, because you're eating my dessert. <laughs> I haven't eaten it yet, but I'm tempted. So, that was the sound. Yeah. Anyways, we, I stumbled into Daniel, and yeah, we were watching his gardening videos and stuff, and I said, Mars, one day I want to do what he's doing. So, here we are. It's pretty cool. Kind of coming full circle. But, uh, yeah. Am I Gardener? I do watch a bunch of his stuff. He's really good, too. I know him and Daniel have done a lot of stuff in the past um, as well. Um, Jason. Yeah, Living Traditions. Okay. Well, thanks, you guys, for the tips. Um, that'll be good. Like I said, I want to get it set up good. We won't grow year-round, but we're going to try and grow pretty darn close to year-round. Um... I just love garden vegetables so much more than uh, store bought. So much more. So, and the kids do really good with them and stuff like that too. Yeah, Maverick eats. If we tell him the food is from the garden, he eats it. What would you say, seventy five percent better? Yeah, and same <laughs> with deer. If it's wild game meat, that kid eats it like crazy. Cow. Even if it's chicken. Even if it's chicken, and even if it's cow, we'll say it's deer, and he just loves it. You're making me like. You're passing your... Ugh. Oh, my allergies are kicking off. It must be the storm all of a sudden. <laughs> it blew everything into the house because now my nose, like, it's just so bad. But, yeah, no Maverick does do really good with deer and vegetables. We haven't done wild pig in a while. I might be doing a wild... In like a year. A wild pig catch clean Two cook. years. We haven't done wild pig in two years. Yeah. I think I want to try it again. And, and now that we have a smoker... We're going to smoke some wild pig. It'd be pretty cool. We made one of... Okay, the last two Thursdays... That's true. We have sucked at dinner. I don't know why. Like, they have been mm. awful. 
today we both went in with the expectation for this one to be awful and it was so good so i bought it actually um, turned out <laughs> at aldi they have like these pre-season pork shoulders um and like barbecue rub and it was like four dollars and i just bought one for our family we came home we smoked it today i got um what are they broski is that how you say i it? don't know it's another one of those things it's just like a bun but it's, it's a like roll. a roll yeah like a sweet roll i guess and we got like a pack of those and then um we got a pre-made kale coleslaw salad oh they're amazing they're like sunflower i think it's the brand tyson right You come tell everybody that. That was that was good. That was good. Good thought. Okay. Yeah. Say it again. Um, a lens, Um, a strawberry and the thunderclap. Um. What do the strawberries do? Plant. They grow. Grow. They grow with the rain. Because of the rain. Yeah. The rain's gonna help us get strawberries. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited. And Harvey and Paxton are going to eat all the strawberries? No, we cannot share. Oh, we can share. Do we share? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can share strawberries if we go to bed too, huh? Hmm, maybe you can <laughs> have strawberries and oatmeal for breakfast. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Go back to your bed, buddy. <laughs> um, gosh, what were we saying? But, um, what was I saying? I don't remember. We were talking about gardening. Are we? I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just gone. Yeah. I feel like it was like in the middle of a story too. Oh, that one. Okay. Sometimes we go off on the tangents, but I feel like that one. That we, one was Mammy. That yeah, one. That yeah. That one like. <laughs> it was like okay. We'll listen to you. Um, so if you remember what we were saying... El Diablo says, I'm 42 and just found out my biological father's last name is Eldridge. Do you think we're related? <laughs> I mean, probably. 42? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe your grandparents had some long-lost child. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, or an uncle. <laughs> yeah, could be. I don't remember what we were saying, but um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed that story. <laughs> the, the half of it that you got. <laughs> I don't oh my remember. gosh. Well, thank you guys so much for joining with us on our short little, I guess it wasn't short, we're almost an hour here. Our live today, the rain is actually starting to pour down. We're going to get this kid to bed. I don't think he's going to go to bed with us over here talking. So, oh, Aldi's pork roast. We'll finish oh, the story. Oh, okay. There we go. I was like, <laughs> it was you, important. Chris. Okay, so we had this pork roast. We got the salad. We expected this, like, not to turn out. We smoked the meat. Well, then, like, Crandall was like, uh, it's pretty good. So we put it on the roll. And then he's like, I was like, I wish we had coleslaw with this. And he's like, oh, let's just put that salad. It's like a sunflower salad. Yeah, it's a cool We just put person. that on top. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Turned out fantastic. Um, so shop at Aldi's. Moral of shop today's at Aldi's, life. Um, yeah, it was less than $8 to feed our entire family dinner. Yeah. And we great. have extra. So. I you go. All right. All gone. You ate your dinner and he did eat his dinner all gone today, huh? Yeah. You did it, so good. It was pretty tasty. Yeah. yeah. It makes you a lot happier when you get... Lots of food in your belly. Lots right. of food and lots of sleep. So let's go get some more sleep. Mommy's tired. I think Daddy's tired. Daddy's too. for bed too. All um, right. We Thank go you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned because I think we're within a couple of days of having a baby go. Or hours. Or today. They tend to have babies when it storms and it's storming. So I think we're really close. <laughs> I hope it's two. I hope it's two. It's got to be twins. She's huge. She's huge. She's big. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Oh. Bye, everybody. Make her mom.